Hello and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the notification about my new tutorials. Hello and welcome to Kaspersky Security Center series again. So today we are going to look at an installation process of Kaspersky Security Center 13 which is the latest version till date. Um, steps to follow what we are going to do is we are going to install a database in my case I have already installed MSSQL Express Edition uh, which can be found over here on this link you can find the tutorial for how to install MSSQL Express Edition or any MSSQL uh, you wish to install and then the next step would be we are going to download and install the Kaspersky Security Center. In my case I have already downloaded uh, Kaspersky Security Center but I would show you from where you can download uh, System Center or Security Center. So you have to browse to support.kaspersky.com under that you will see for business you have to click on business once you are inside for business you have to scroll a bit down over here and you can see administration and over here you see security center 13 over here and you see there is a tab called download version of course you need to look for system requirements before doing that I'm not looking into that because you can simply browse to system requirements and look for it now let's go to download versions and once we are in that page you will be able to see different options available over here so what you need to download is Kaspersky Security Center version 13.0.011247 which is latest version till date for Windows full package of course why I'm downloading full package because it contains lots of other uh, things inside it is not only administration console so uh, you just need to click on download and it will be downloaded to your machine for me I have already downloaded this so if you co come over here and download you can see I have Kaspersky Security Center already downloaded so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it as administrator this is my practice that I run it as administrator so over here you just need to go for installation of Kaspersky Security Center version 13 so you will click on it you need to know one more thing um, since Kaspersky version two, uh, 12 Kaspersky is no more providing express edition of Kaspersky uh, express edition of SQL server along with the download so of course before that you need to download Kasp um, SQL server Microsoft SQL server you can download express edition and install it that's good to be installed for somewhere around seven to eight hundred clients if you do not have much data coming in you can find the link in the description about how to download and install SQL Server. I'm not going to talk about uh, this installation in this tutorial because it will extend the time of this video tutorial. So that's also pretty simple. You'll find the link in the download how to install MS SQL Server. Now I'm going to run the installation of Kaspersky Security Center Administration. So now we'll click on next it says if there is a .NET framework missing it will request you to install that but in my case it is already installed I'm going to go click next you have to read and accept the license term and agreement now there are two options either you can go to standard installation or you can go to custom installation if you go to custom installations of course a custom installation will give you some choices to make of where you would like to install it database server etc so for current scenario I'm going to go with standard installation so it is asking whether you would like to install both administration consoles or if you would like to install only web console or MMC console I'm going to go with install both because I would like to install web and MMC consoles both 
at the same point of time. I'm going to click next. Now over here you can choose fewer than 100 network devices. Certain options gets changed but if you select the higher number it will ask you for dedicated SQL server and things like that but I'm going to go with fewer than 100 network because it's a lab setup over here. I'm going to click on next. It says select the type of DB MS to which you would like to connect administration server. You can go for a MySQL also. But in my case, I already have MS SQL installed over here. So I'm going to go with that. Click on next. Now you have to browse to the instance. You can click on this. Of course, your SQL server should have browser service running. And if it is not on the same server, then of course the server which you are trying to connect should allow you to access that server. So you see now it is able to look for my SQL Express Edition server. I'm going to click on next and I'm going to go with the default database name. And if you see you can download Microsoft SQL Server Express Edition from here also. I'm going to click on next. I'm going for Windows authentication mode or you can go for SQL authentication mode also over here. I'm going to go with Windows authentication mode right now. Click next, install, and we'll just wait for this installation to complete. As you can see, currently it is installing Kaspersky Security Center Administration Console. All right, administration server will be installed. After that, it will install Exchange Mobile Device Server, iOS Mobile Device Management Plugin. Then it will open up a visit to install Kaspersky Security Center Web Console. So it might take like five to 10 minutes for this complete installation. So the easiest way to do is you can probably put it on installation. If you have other work to do, you can do that and then come back to the screen. You don't need to stick to the screen for sure, right? So in my case, I can simply pause this video over here and I'm going to come back to this video when I'm going to interact next over here. Right, as soon as I I have finished my Kaspersky Security Center administration server, Exchange Mobile Device Management and iOS Mobile Device Management plugin, when it reached to Kaspersky Security Center web console, you see there is a new visit which has popped up over here now. I'm going to click on OK. Next, I'll confirm, accept the agreement. Next, location where I would like to place this installation. Next, I'll keep the default port and the address. If you would like to have fully qualified domain name, you can put it over there. I'm going to keep it as default. Test is something which will allow me to test if this port is available. Otherwise, you need to change this port if it is not used. It has been used by something else. Click on next. You can specify custom accounts or you can go with the default accounts. For now, I'm going to go with the default account over here. Generate a new certificate. Make sure the below domain is trusted. Or you can choose existing certificate over here. If there is any, I'm going to go with the default settings over here. This is my address, port, etc. For my trusted administration server, I'm going to click on next, install. So installation of Kaspersky CAT Center 13 web console is almost about to finish. And once this is finished, we are good to start with Kaspersky Security Center. 
so as you can see the whole thing which is going on is happening on this console the other background console is still on the same page where it used it was there okay so our installation is finished I can start security center 13 web console from here or I can just click on finish and you see now it is asking me if I would like to start Kaspersky security center web console or MMC console if I click on both let them start and you can see this is my Kaspersky security center web console port number is 8080 I'll say yes over here and we are good as soon as I'll run my Kaspersky security center server it will ask me to run through getting started visit I can cancel this at this point of time and I can come back so if you see I can just simply come over here and start the same visit over here now let's go back to our web portal and you can see now I have this available over here I can just simply use my credentials to log into it I believe I have to use domain account for this it takes little time for the very first time when you are loading up this console so you have to be patient it takes like one to two minutes sometimes and the better way is anyway uh, we should try another browser because you know this browser is not something which is good Kaspersky um, or any other products they are always uh, they basically allow us to use it with different browser but easiest and better ways to use in another browser so let's see which one brings up this console quickly as you can see Internet Explorer is still going on and this one is already loaded and now if you see choose your tutorial scenario if you are new to Kaspersky Security Center choose new administration server the main focus here is to general functionality of Kaspersky Security and web console features otherwise if you are already familiar with the functionalities choose upgrade path so let's go with new administration server so as soon as I click on this there is a small tutorial over here which will take place okay you see it's taking me through different things over here and I can just simply close this now as soon as I reach over here I'll be able to see my console and everything over here now I have an option over here to hide this panel or show I have some console settings where I have integrations and things like that we are going to talk about them but not today alright and otherwise I can just simply come over here and I can run a start quick start visit start quick start visit is something which will help me to get start with my Kaspersky security center administration server thank you so much for watching this walkthrough please use the comment section below to let me know if this solves your problem or this is what you are looking for and to discuss more about any of the technologies which I'm talking about thank you and stay blessed